I think one of the best moments of last episode was the introduction, the dynamic between Tomo's mom and dad. The way that Tomo's dad is like such a giga chat buff looking dude, karate master. And then the moment mom shows up, he just goes flush and he just turns into a cuddly bear. And the fact that Jun has been pretty much protecting Tomo ever since I don't know how long ago, but he never takes credit. He beat them up, but he didn't say anything. What a guy. Let's begin today's reaction. This house is going to be nuts, right? She's super rich. We've seen her, like her, her limousine, take us to the little cafe before. What kind of mansion is it, bro? <laughs> no, it, it's definitely here, but you gotta walk like 10 more miles to get to her mansion. Huh? Mother? Mother? <laughs> her butcher Japanese! <laughs> That's Carol's mom, absolutely. Really? My daughter has friends? Dude, perverted intentions on Carol? No, she's not a boy. Come on. Come on. But... Oh, Opa. Oh. Opa. Oh. Opa. Mama. Oh. Carol and Mom are so lovey-dovey. Also, her outfit. What is this? Her one-suit pajama? Hello. Hello. No ki no hugs? No, it's too much affection. Come on, she's trying to be your number one! Oh! Was that planned ahead? In <laughs> oh, come on! Now, Carol will do the same thing, maybe. Oh, come on! Carol just wants to be matching! A yeah, little meanie. What's the mom thinking? Hmm. I bet she's happy that Carol has friends. This is a princess's mansion. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Huh? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Not actually, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, but... You're pudding, so you wear soft, cute clothes. Again, this is the same logic of... I can do jump ropes, because I like bunnies. What does that mean? No one knows. Hello, mummy. She's following her. What? Does mom wants to be Mrs. Zeus number one too? <laughs> what is this? Uh, what? What's going on? Why are you following? Just making sure you don't get lost. Oh, she wasn't actually mean. I mean, it's she. She's being sundered. Come on. Oh, come on. That's so, bro. You confronting the mother like that? She think it's funny. <laughs> Nice joke. Okay, maybe she understands Misuzu's appeal. Okay, okay. Also, I didn't just realize, but Misuzu's hair, you know, it's a bit crinkled now. It's a good new look because she took off the braids, but every time, there's giving us like more Misuzu looks and Carol actually is better. He's a champion at this game, huh? Didn't expect that. Aww. And you too. Oh! She actually let her hug her. <laughs> you know, she didn't let Carol do it. Wait, wait she's... She's, <laughs> she's not leaving. <laughs> I get it. They're just... They're, just so it's, they're lovey dovey. What a great family. Where's the dad? Hmm. Oh, even better than me? Yeah. <laughs> she's trying to help, but... How, how good is he? I, Rank 30. Top 30 is pretty good, isn't it? What were you? Never mind. She's the smartest, I guess. I... I'm expecting Carol to be unexpectedly smart for some reason. Because you wouldn't expect that from her kind of character. That's kind of true. Huh? Oh. Hello. Oh. No, totally. You can take her. <laughs> no. Come on, dude. Carol, too. Dude, that was so precious. Mother. Dude, the mom is definitely what I would expect Mrs. Mom to be like. Is she happy that she has friends over? A boyfriend? No, it's Tomo shoes. Come on. Oh, Opai. <laughs> Say that, too, like how mom said it. Carol's mom. Uh, they look alike, yeah. They're like childhood friends, right? The moms. <laughs> well, why not? 
Hello, I'm Carol. I'm trying to be your daughter's number one. And she's different. Just as cute. Oh! The mom's appeal. Oh. I'm not sold on this one. Oh, come on! So, okay. So, Carol is unexpectedly smart. Even though she looks like an airhead. Yes, it is. I bet she might outrank Misuzu at the exams. Also, I don't know what to call Misuzu. Gundo or Misuzu. Gundo is easier to say. Uh, they're friends and you whip this around and smoosh it. She's not talking technically, but this is... It works because Carol's built diff. Uh, she's using her crazy pudding magic. She can't take compliments well. I just want to see her smile or blush. Give me some kind of reaction. It's so hard to get one out of her. Oh, I think I missed something important there. Did she say she wants to go to college? With Mizuzu? Oh. Oh? Oh, oh, this is the most reaction I've seen from Mrs. Me too, me too. What about Jun though? Can Jun follow? I'm sure he can. Is this the test results? She passed? She probably just passed, yeah. <laughs> She's so proud. The top half, because it's about 140. Now, where's Carol? Is Carol number one? Okay. Not bad, not great. It's okay, come on. Now, where's Carol and Gundo? <laughs> he took both of their stuff. <laughs> Carol's number one. Yeah. Carol. So she is unexpectedly just a genius, even though she's a little bit of an airhead. June's a gamer, an epic gamer. Yeah. Hey, gamer kids. <laughs> even stay over. Hmm. A gaming overnighter. The implications of a girl staying over at a boy's house. Hmm. Yeah, you should be so happy, but she's kind of like embarrassed. Now she's aware of the situation. No, Carol! No third wheeling allowed. Okay, I guess she wants support. No, you shouldn't. Carol and Misuzu are in sync. Oh. Huh? What mother? A lot more time until our daughter would finally grow up and marry Jun. My Gretch. <laughs> I mean, she is jumping a bit, but it's still in the same course. Hmm. That's cool with it. Okay. All right, Dad. Dude, I can't get over his hair. Mishima Heiichi. Tekken. Google it. Mom? What did mom... Did you check? What is it? it can't be condoms. Like, no way. Don't fucking wait. Come on. What is it? Parents are out as well. Hmm. No, but now that the parents are out and the girl is staying over at a boy's house overnight, you know the implications. About your bath. Mm. 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 Okay. Sure. There's no way he's gonna accidentally walk into her, right? Reheat the water. We reheat the water. The bath water hasn't been drained after using. Uh, wait, wait. I'm not getting this wrong. Right? It's talking like reheat the water, as in like. I left the bath water there for you after I washed myself. That's kind of gross, right? Just a shower. The, don't the, the bath water! Shoot <laughs> <Jude's> bath water! <laughs> now, if this was your typical, you know, a little bit of harm, Etchy, this is where June just walk in and accidentally trip and just fucking fall into, me. you know, her tits, but not that kind of show. Hmm? Did he kind of think about her in that kind of way too? I was just thinking about you and then 
in decent ways. Had to smack myself to get out of it. I think June is conscious, but he just we never get it from his perspective, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> her natural hair. Yes. What are you gonna say? Hey, bro, let's play the game. It's June special. It's his bread and butter. They come out of nowhere behind. Boom. What's up, bro? And then it immediately kind of just like restores the balance of their dynamic of just being friends. But he, it's like I know he has to see her as a, as a girl. But like. It's hard to tell because he never, we can never get like his monologue or his internal thinking. But there are moments of weakness where June does show that. Gamer kid. <laughs> oh, oh, careful. Oh, careful. Oh, oh. Uh, and then you're going to get conscious if he's on top of you. Careful. Doki, doki. Doki, doki. Just friends, right? <laughs> careful. Where are we sleeping? Separate beds? Yeah. Oh, he let her sleep in his bed and then he takes the futon on the ground? What a gentleman. You know, this is, might not be the moment, but a waste of an opportunity. But I kind of did the same thing for a girl once where she was just a friend and I was being polite and I offered her my bed. But then after, a after I thought about it and I'm like, what the fuck did I just do? I didn't even clean that bed. That's fucking disgusting. What did I do? And I forced her to be on the bed and I thought I was being cool to be just like to be on the couch. Anyways, focus. Yeah. What? He's already sleeping. Confess your love right now because he's sleeping and he wouldn't be able to hear, but he's actually not sleeping and he would hear it. Say it. Say it. Is he actually sleeping though? Hmm. Yeah, what do you what else do you want to see? Oh come on, you gotta wake up there. That's cruel. Oh. Oh. Oh! oh. Natural instinct, I guess, and I'm gonna assume that he's still kind of sleeping, so he doesn't know what's going on. But, hey yo, hey yo, <laughs> gotta choke her out. But this is kind of romantic, right, in their own own way. Mm. Why is she down here? <laughs> Wait, I think he just knocked himself out walking out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Romantic. Yeah. The positioning. How did you get there? Wait. She doesn't remember how Jin just like just tried to stare angle her. It's a bit awkward. Is it a bit tense? Jun, do your thing with the arm. Hey, bro, come on. Your bread and butter. They're both getting a little bit conscious. Oh, Carol and Misuzu, what do you think? Oh. I think. It's better if things are like this because the friend dynamic is breaking. I, and I mentioned how it's better that the friend dynamic is breaking, but I think that's what he's kind of scared of. Cause like, you know, you ever like, you have like a crush on a girl and you're good friends, but you're about to ask her out. But then if you do and you get rejected, what happens to their friendship? Man, I think everyone can relate to that, right? So maybe June also kind of feels the same way. That's why he doesn't make a move. That's what I'd probably be doing. But yo, I know that's going to work. Just do it, dude, just do it. But. I don't know when that's gonna happen. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.